<laughs> when I saw Flame Over, I was like, what in the world is this game? I saw a guy putting out fire. And I was just like, really now? I was like, how could this be entertaining? How, how could this be anything fun? And walking around shooting water. Like, what in the world is this game? Like, what? I was like, this looks so easy. It looks so pointless. Like, I was just really just really contemplating life. I, I was at that point. And then I checked my email a couple days ago. And I saw a code from Laughing Jackal, the developers. And me being, you know, the type of person who denies nothing free if it's free i'm not gonna deny it like what so i said let's see how good i am at putting out fires fam and i said let's go <laughs> so i started playing it that day uh 10 minutes into playing and i had already died three times uh, roughly three to five times and i had retried same amount you know three to five times uh, so i was like all right there's something fucked up with me or this game or something. Something's not right here. You know what I mean? I was like, something's not right here. Uh, so see, this game comes to be a simple, put out the fire, save some people. You know, simple, simple game like that. But it is, ooh, it is far from it. The fires can have like a black smoke. And this means that you have to put it out with your extinguisher, not your normal just water. But if there is no black smoke, then it's just, you know, water's fine. But then you have basically all the fires that they can like burst in little fire droplets. And these go around the room and spread and catch things on fire that you just previously put out. Mix this with black smoke that if you're not put out correctly, it's just going to keep on burning and also has a chance to, you know, fire out in the little fire droplets and catch other things on fire as well. This game just gets crazy. Now, now all, all those things I said. Now imagine struggling to put out all these multiple types of fire while civilians are trapped in the room whom they also need to be saved before they die. And remember, you have your own health to worry about. And if you're exposed to fire for too long, there'll be, as you can see, a little bar going around this, uh, the, uh, the firefighter's body. If it reaches it, the other side, you'll lose a heart. And mind you, at the start, you only get five minutes. But when you save people, it adds on an extra minute. There's probably like six, five uh, people in each each stage of levels. And so, I mean, it's it gives you, saving people will give you a good amount of time. You should have at least four, three minutes left if you saved everybody after each stage. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Did I tell you that there's some bitch who refuses to leave until you find her damn red bag? Yeah, she literally just stands in the fire. There can be a fire right next to this hoe. And she will not leave until you find her bag. And it's not like she's invincible or something. She can also die. Her name's Miss Ion. And when you get, get her, you unlock... I'm pretty sure you unlock the store for the next stage. I'm not sure because... Most of the time, I usually do manage to save her because sometimes you, you to find her red bag, you have to search objects throughout the other, like throughout um uh, a room. I'm pretty sure it's the business room is where her bag usually is. But the rooms all look the same. I, I never know which one's what room. So, but I, I seem to manage to find it because I can be walking up to something and there'll be a search option pops up. So I just press it and I find her bag. But not all the time you find her bag. Sometimes you can find water bombs and uh, some power-ups you can there, there's fountains you can refill your tank with if you don't want to go all the way back to the start and so not all the time you're gonna find it right away so sometimes you might be struggling to find this bitch's bag and then she's just gonna die so like i said you heard that i said second stage you get a um shop so each level has three stages and in this gameplay you're seeing I died once and I played again and literally that is the first time I have ever gotten to stage 3. And as you can see it did not end very well. By stage 3 these fires were ridiculous man. Like I couldn't put them out to save my life. I was in this room forever. Like I died here because it, <laughs> the fire would not go away. And it seemed they stopped like giving me little tips or telling me about stuff because a uh, civilian died in this room and I didn't even know the dude was in there because before 
it uh, would before in other stages it would be like oh there's a villain here I need to get them out before they die or whatever and it didn't tell me this and this like this civilian was off the screen so I didn't see him in the room when I opened up the door so he just died and whenever they die you lose 10 seconds and you need every second that you get man and not only that like not only do you lose 10 seconds but that's also a minute you've lost that you cannot gain back because usually when you get civilians they give you back a minute but if they die you lose 10 seconds and you lose that minute that you could have gotten back speaking of stages um, like I said the second stage where the shop is uh, you can purchase some stuff and you lose you can purchase power-ups and some other different things but I've never purchased a power up because every time I go to that store I'm always trying to buy time um, so I'm not even worrying about anything else I'm like I need time so I just buy time um, so the only type of skill that I really had access to and used is the water bombs but from the start of the missions you get three defaults so it's not even really a power up and it's you know so it's power ups usually aren't you know fit to a button right away but like uh, water bombs are set to circle so it's not really a power up um, but yeah water bombs are exactly what they sound like you're able to throw them and they explode and they shoot water everywhere which can be a very big help you might you really need it but uh like i said this game is hard as hell i've had this game since tuesday playing for you know a little couple hours each day and like I said, this is the first time I made it to stage three of level one. Uh, like, I and I'm just beginning to get the true grasp of this game. It is no simple game, and you truly, truly, truly need to play for yourself to understand what I'm talking about. Like, the difficulty is what keeps me back, uh, keeps me back to come and play more. Uh, something I forgot to mention is the fact that um, there is a power source at each level, at each stage, even. And you have to go turn off the power because if you don't have the power okay you have electrical plugs are all on you know what I mean and so something that is like plugged in like there's like a power point like a screen and that thing if you do not turn the power off that thing does not go out you f put the fire out the thing just starts back up um, and that's mainly because you have not put out the power so something that you should do this is what helps if you do not do this you're never gonna like get past all three stages you go open up your map before you start because the time does not start until you open up the beginning um, door so you open up your map you check where the power source is and you go straight there you do not try to do anything else you go straight to the power you turn that thing off um, and that's something that I learned through playing and through talking to the people the devs on Twitter They're telling me because I was like this game is hard as hell. I, I could not get past stage one even I was really stuck on stage one for two three days until they told me about the power source And they told me about some other tips and I was like all right. All right. I get this <laughs> But um, yeah, anyways flame over how about flame never over like damn Anyways, uh, this wasn't really really wasn't a review. I just really wanted to talk about the game You know how I thought of it at first glance and then how I thought of it after learning the game's mechanics Because it does have fairly deep mechanics But um, yeah, man, the game is a very tricky game Nothing simple. You may get very mad at this game. So be warned. You know, you heard it here first boys and girls anyways um, The game is 999 coming out tomorrow Tuesday, so I encourage you to check it out if you are into this kind of games. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for listening, and leave a like. Leave a like if you liked this type of video. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next time video, whatever. Peace! <laughs>